Good morning, everyone. This is First and Ten with Jordan Mann. I am your host, Jordan Mann, and alongside me is recur reoccurring guest, Coach Brandy. How are you doing today, Coach? Doing well, Jordan. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. Coming off of a big road win, conference road win, Farham won 30 to nothing at Greensboro College. Farham scored 17 in the first half and then scored an additional 13 in the second half, and they really rolled over Greensboro College pride. Harvey Taylor, a little banged up, but he threw for 88 yards on 10 of 12 passing. He also ran for he ran for 20 yards as well. And then coming in for him was Tyler English and Bryce Casey. And English threw for six was six of nine for 65 yards. And then Casey was three of three for 12. And then the man with the ball that's won Rookie of the Week honors for I think four. Weeks now is yep four consecutive. Brian Mann with 161 yards rushing with three touchdowns and had a long of 64. As a unit, Farm has 269 on the ground with 5.6 per carry. And as coach coming in, especially with Harvey Taylor just a little banged up and was running the key to the, the game plan. Well, it has been throughout the season, and certainly, uh, you know, our offensive line and our tight ends have done a great job, and uh, with the running threat of the quarterback, opened some things up for, you know, Brian and the other backs. But uh, you know, I think Coach Summers looks at the game plan and has a, a balance of run to pass, and how the game kind of dictates, um, you know, what we need to do to you know, be competitive or put a game away, and. Um, you know, that Saturday the run game was was going well and you know, we got a got a good lead defense was playing well and you know, we just want to get through that 60 minutes with a W yeah and to go off of that I mean three touchdowns by man that makes eight on the season for him and that's eight and four games so you could you like as a coaching staff two a game that's pretty solid it's not a bad yeah. bad output yeah it's not bad at all and then for defense I mean defense unit <laughs> As the front four have always been has been dominant this season, but as a unit, they had 14 tackles for a loss. I mean, you guys were in the backfield all day. They had Greensboro College ran the ball 39 times for 66 yards, just to give you an idea. Back home, that's averaged out about 1.7 a carry. So, was on defensive side of the ball going against Greensboro? Were they were you more concerned about the pass, which they are now 26? or the run where they ran the ball 39 times? Well, you start with the run game and your fits with your front seven. And um, you know, Coach Dawson, the defensive staff, do a great job of identifying top plays and formations. And our kids you know, do a good analysis of that. And um, you know, on Saturday, you know, denting the front and trying to create a new line of scrimmage is key to, to stopping the run game. And you know, we've got some kids that have bought into that. And, Around them in the perimeter have, have done a good job, you know, improving tackling all throughout the season and uh, had a good effort on Saturday. Yeah, you said dent in the line of scrimmage. I think they, I think the unit literally blew up the line of scrimmage for 1.7 yards a carry and then 91 passing yards for on 9 of 26 passing. So nothing was working for Greensboro and it was a well deserved shutout by the defensive unit. And leading the defensive unit in tackles was Al Matthews. He had 10 tackles, three and a half for a loss. And then Aaron Branch had eight tackles, one for a loss, and a pass breakup. And then John Johnson had four tackles, three for a loss, and the only sack of the game. So it's always great to see defense wins the games. And I mean, they were stout Saturday. They were kind of, you know, it's complimentary. The offense is doing their job, getting points and creating a lead. And then, you know, teams become one dimensional once you get up like that. And that, you know, can dictate how you can uh, you know, rush the passer and create some uh, issues in their passing game when you know they're going to throw it. Yeah. And um, you know, that certainly came out on Saturday as well. Well, as well-rounded as the game was, what part of the game did you look at and you're like, we still need to work on, like we talked about before the broadcast about the penalties, Farm and both teams had 14. It didn't cost Farm in this game, but as a coach, I know you want to, cut down on the penalties. Yeah, and that's been a problem all year for us, to be honest with you, is uh, you know, the, the number of penalties and the timing of them. A few of those created some extended drives for Greensboro that didn't result in points, but when you look at it, you, you certainly have an opportunity to get off the field on some third and fourth downs. Yeah. And, 
extending drives uh, are going to come back to haunt you. And uh, some of the other penalties, some of them are aggressive play, which are going to happen in the game, and some are just mental mistakes that we've got to continue to work on, you know, in practice. And uh, it's something our team's definitely aware of, and uh, we've got to improve on if we want to continue to um, improve this year. Yeah, to go off of that, I mean, uh, the defense unit held Greensboro to 12 first downs, but three of them were via the penalty. So, like you said, if it's a third or fourth down situation, you get that penalty. That's just a backbreaker on the defensive side. But to, uh, and also shout out to Brian Manning, who's also named Rookie of the Week again this past week. And so that's his fourth. To switch gears, though, Farm coming in this upcoming Saturday, go on the road against Huntington. What's your game plan going into Huntington, Coach? Well, it's weekly. It's us, you know, trying yeah. to get better at the things we need to do. You know, they're certainly uh, the top of our conference the last uh, several years. They've been in uh, three years and won it last year. And, um, you know, Coach Turk's been there for over a decade and doing it the right way. And I've gotten a chance to meet him through our conference meetings and uh, just does an outstanding job down there. So it's travel. It'll be our first overnight yeah. situation and going to Montgomery's not like going to Greensboro, it's a little no, further. Not. And uh, we got to be able to handle that as a team. And, um, you know, those are non-football related things you got to handle, but they're very important to the success of Saturday's performances, handling the travel. And, um, you know, but they've got weapons on offense and, uh, you know, they definitely uh, lead the country in a few categories. So we're going nice. to have our hands full, but uh, our guys are excited. We've had a couple of days of practice. Got a, another Wednesday we've got to get in the books. and. Get ready to head on down south. Well, if there's any fair fans or alum that are around Huntington, it's the uh, kickoffs at one o'clock. Fairham's three and one and one and zero in conference play. Huntington comes off a loss against NC West with a 41-31 defeat. So it'll be a good game down in Huntington. I'm your host Jordan Mann. This is Fairham First and Ten. Y'all have a great day.